Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so for this video, I'm going to be setting up this new chinchilla cage over here. Um, so this is their old one, but it's not nearly enough room for, because they, they can't be together, because one's a boy and one's a girl. We don't want more chinchilla babies. So here's what happened. We originally bought this chin right here. Um, we were told that she was a male, so we brought her home, and then like two months later, she had a baby. So we're like, okay, not a male, had a baby. This is the baby. Um, so of course she had to have a boy, so they can't be together. So this whole cage was supposed to be for one chinchilla. Like this was supposed to be, I had this tray right here, and then you can like put the tray down and then they can go, because there's a hole in the cage. There's a hole right here and then they can, you know, use the whole cage. And it's like two different levels, you know what I mean? But this is their setup right now. And I feel like it's really small for them. So I got this monster for the mama chin. And then Nugget is going to have this whole cage, the little baby. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I set up the big cage. I have a lot of ledges to set up, so it's obviously not gonna be like a straight up and down cage because I don't want her to like fall and die. Because it's literally like seven feet tall, it's insane. So I have all these things, but the issue is these like grates, I don't want them to hurt their feet, break their feet, whatever. So I have all this leftover fleece that I'm just gonna cut up and use as covers for this. I'm gonna like hot glue it together because I don't know how to sew. So, so, so. So yeah, I'm just gonna hot glue it together and try to make it work. And yeah, hope you enjoy watching me struggle. Look at my cutting job that I did. <laughs> what the hell? I'm not crafty, clearly. I just thought I was being really cool and crafty and I realized that I was hot gluing this shut and why would I do that? How am I going to take it off if I need to wash it? <laughs> I think this hot glue, I think I can like peel it apart and it'll be fine, but like what is wrong with me? I glued the back like this, it's really janky but whatever. Um, and I think that's going to work just fine, that looks really great, my cutting job. Only issue is there's hooks down here as well that need to be hooked on the cage, so I need to make like holes for those. But other than that, yay, I did a really bad job, but like who cares? Now I need to cut holes for this little piece. thing I've ever seen. This is like completely uneven. Like this side is, there's more fabric over there. Like what is with me? But it doesn't matter because this side's going to be face down. So let's test it and see how it works. I mean it works if you face this side towards the wall so nobody can see how horrible I did. I'm going to try to make another one of these. Okay so this is what I have so far. Um, this looks terrible, but like whatever, it's a chinchilla, she won't judge me. And then this is the other one, this one definitely looks a little bit better. I might do what I did for this one, for this one, but it took a lot more time. But we'll see, I'll probably wind up doing that just because I came out a lot better, a lot more secure. But anyways, um, I think now is time to fill it with litter and place the chinchilla inside.
only concern with this is that the living area in the bottom is really small. Like she has tons of places to jump around and sit, but I feel like it's really small right there. He's mad. Um, like I said, it's not done. There, I still have to add all these ledges. I think I'm gonna put her wheel up on one of these maybe. I think I'm gonna add another one of these big ones though. Um, probably up higher, but I need another ramp or something. I don't know. I'm gonna figure out the setup a little bit more, but I feel bad because I feel like it's kind of small on the bottom here. Obviously, she has a ton of place to jump around, but she was used to like this big area, so I don't know. We'll see. Also, this cage is gross. I have to clean it out. Sorry. Excuse that. But yeah, I think she's looking around. She's exploring right now. Um, I still have to move a couple of her things. I have another ramp that I can use. And we have another one down there. Um, so, and we have a couple here. So we have a lot of ramps, which is good. She'll be able to get around. But I think I need to add more of these big platforms. So I'm going to make more of those. And yeah, then it'll be good. And definitely put these in there for her to sit on. But I can't do that by myself because I, <laughs> I don't have arms that long. So, but yeah, um, I'm going to add, what is she doing? She is exploring. But yeah, I'm going to add her hammock and all of that good stuff in there okay it's been hours I feel like but uh, this is what I have so far she's in there she's being weird I don't know if she likes it I think she hates it but I still have more ledges to add she's been doing this thing where she's like digging in the corner and I don't know what it means I think she wants to get out desperately so I'm pretty sure she hates it but hopefully she'll like it better when I get everything in um, I still have the wooden ledges I need to figure out how to hang up this i don't know if i'll be able to but hopefully i can hang it somewhere i might be able to hang it to the top if i put more ledges in but i don't know man this is what we have so far i think i want to get another one of these put it here and then get a ramp so she can run up it i don't know and then i still need to put these little things in for her to sit on but i've made like a total mess in here like chaos bad mess also, I got this a long time ago for them to run in, but then I realized it's like kind of harsh for them to run in this because they like freedom so much and they like jumping around and it's also hot. So I don't use that anymore. It's just kind of there, just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, she's destroying everything. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, don't, I don't know what she's doing. Can you stop? Okay, update. Wow, I look tired. Um, We've added another one of these things, and then I added another, I added this, and then I think I'm gonna hang her hammock up there, like I said, this thing right here. Um, I added her wheel, put her wheel in. I haven't secured it yet, but um, that's her. She's running around. She finally escaped, which she's been like dying to do, because I think she hates it, but I've given her quite a bit more to do, so hopefully she gets over it, spoiled brat. Now I have to clean out this nasty thing, and then this little guy can have this whole cage to himself. So, yeah, I'm not doing that today, though, because I'm really tired. But, yeah, I'm going to put her back in there and try to finish this up. I don't know if I'll finish it all today, but we'll see. I want to add this last little thing because I have some fabric left so I can make another little cover for it. But this is, like, incredibly bent, and I can't bend it because I'm not, like, Hulk. Like, what? I can't bend metal. So, I'm gonna have my boyfriend do it because he can and did bend metal quite easily. So, I'm gonna have him just bend this correctly. Hopefully it doesn't break, and I'll use that one. Okay, I think this is the finished product, finally. It's literally... 7 30 at night <laughs> i started this at like two. <sighs> lord okay well i haven't been doing it like for that long straight i took a break and showered and stuff whoa okay you can't just come out she's biting me we have this i moved her hammock here added another ledge here so she can jump off here go on here go in here and she's not like hanging seven feet in the air she has her food and her water obviously and her cooling stone and then all her stuff down here. Hi, Mama. Come to you. I'm probably going to put this in somewhere in this cage if I can find a space for it. 
but she's a lot happier than she was earlier. She's finally calmed down and she's been jumping all around. I think she really likes it now. So I'm glad that she's not freaking out anymore. And uh, yeah, we might add some more things, but for now, I think this is pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with it. And I think she is too. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be making maybe a follow-up video telling you guys how she's doing um, in the new cage. And yeah, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.